install the image of Sri Rama's lotus feet in your heart and enjoy the uninterrupted sovereignty of the Lanka. Enjoy the uninterrupted sovereignty of the, the glory of the Sheikh Pulasya shines like the moon without its spot. The glory of Sheikh Pulasya shines like a moon without its spot. Be not speak in that moon. Speech is charmless without Sri Rama's name. 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 Speech is charmless. The expression or ability to express thought and feeling by articulate sound. The expression of ability to express thought and feeling by articulate. The formal address or discourse delivered to an audience is called the charmless. The speech is charmless without Sri Rama's. Ponder and see for yourself, casting aside arrogance and infatuation. Ponder and see for yourself. Ponder and see for yourself. Ponder. Ponder and see for yourself. Ponder means ponder. Ponder means think about carefully, especially before making decision or reaching a conclusion. Think about carefully, especially before making a decision or reaching a conclusion. Think about carefully, especially before making a decision reaching a conclusion is called the ponder. Think about carefully, especially before making a decision reaching a conclusion. Think about carefully, especially before making a decision reaching a conclusion. Think about carefully, especially before making a decision reaching a conclusion. Think about carefully, especially before making a decision or reaching a conclusion. The glory of the Sheikh Pulasya shines like the moon without its spots. Be not speck in that moon. Be not speck and in that moon. Speech is charmless without Sri Rama's name. Ponder and see for yourself. Casting aside arrogance and infatuation. Casting aside arrogance and infatuation. Arrogance. Casting aside arrogance and infatuation. Arrogance means. Arrogance. arrogance means uh, the quality of being unpleasantly proud and behaving as if you are more important than and know more than other people is called the arrogance. The quality of being unpleasantly proud and behaving as if you are more important than or know more than other people is called the arrogance. The quality of being unpleasantly proud and behaving as if you are more important than or know more than other people is called the arrogance. The quality of being unpleasantly proud and behaving as if you are more important than or know more than other people is called the arrogance. The quality of being unpleasantly proud and behaving as if you are more important than or know more than other people is called the behaving. The quality of being unpleasantly proud and unple the quality of being unpleasantly proud and behaving as if you are more important than or know more than other people is called the the, uh, the quality of being unpleasantly proud and behaving as you are more important or no more than other people is called the arrogance. The quality of being unpleasantly proud and behaving as if you are more important than no more than other people is called the no more than other people is called the no more important more, more other people. A fair lady without class or enemy of God does not look herself even through Adorned with all kind of jewels, the fortune and lordship, the glory of the Sheikh Pulasya shines like the moon without its spot. Be not speck in the moon. Speech is charmless without Sri Rama's name. Ponder the sea for yourself, casting aside arrogance and infatuation. A fair lady without cloth, no enemy of God, does not look herself even though adorned with all kind of jewels. Enemy of God did not look herself even through adorn with all kind of jewels. The enemy of God does not look herself even through adorn with all kind of jewels. The enemy of God does not look herself. A fair lady without God, O oh, enemy of God, does not look herself. Enemy of God throw adorn with all kind of jewels. Throw adorn with all kind of jewels. A fair lady without God, the fortune and lordship of a man who is hostile to Rama, the fortune and lordship of a man who is hostile to Rama eventually leave him even if they stay a while. 
the fortune and lordship of a man who is hostile to rama the fortune and lordship of a man who is hostile to rama eventually leave him even if they stay a while and are as good as lost if acquired anew the fortune and lordship of a man who is hostile to rama eventually leave him fortune and lordship of the man who is hostile to rama eventually leave him the fortune and lordship of a man who is hostile to rama eventually leave him even if they stay a while and are good a lot if acquired anew words that have no parental resource get dried up as soon as the rain are over this is no tenere rama i tell you <coughs> oh no there is none, none to save him who is opposed to shri rama shankara vishnu and brahma in their thousands in their thousands are unable to protect you an enemy of shri rama the thousands are unable to protect you and enemy of the shri rama install the image of shri rama's lotus feet in your heart and enjoy the uninterrupted sovereignty of lanka the glory of sek pulasya your grandfather shines like a moon without its spot be not speck in that moon speech is charmless without shri rama's name ponder in sea for yourself casting aside arrogance and infatuation a fair lady without claws o enemy of the god does not a look herself even though adorned with all kind of jewels the fortune and lordship of a man who is hostile to rama eventually leave him even if they stay a while and are as good as lost if acquired new rivers that have no parental source get dried up as soon as the rain are over and you see no tad here round i tell you and on or there is none to save him who is opposed to shri rama shankara vishnu and brahma in their thousands are unable to protect you an enemy of shri rama abundant pride which is same as tamoguna rooted uh, abundant pride pride means amarana pride pride means pride pride means uh, abundant pride pride means pride pride means pride pride means abundant pride pride means a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction derived from one's achievement the achievement of those with whom one is closely associated or from quality or possessions that are widely admired consciousness of one's own ability is called the prize consciousness of one's own ability be specially proud of consciousness of one's own ability is called the pride consciousness of one's own ability is called the pride consciousness of one's own ability is called the prize consciousness of one's own ability is called the prize consciousness of one's own ability is called the pride consciousness of one's own ability is called the prize consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride be especially proud of consciousness of own ability is called the pride abundant pride which is the same as tamo guna rooted as if it is a ignorance and source of considerable pain rooted as a ignorance abundant pride consciousness of one's own ability is called the uh, pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the prize pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride so consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride abundant pride which is same as tamo guna darkness consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called the pride consciousness of one's own dignity is called abundant pride 
own dignity is called the pride. Conscious of one's own dignity is called abundant pride, which is same as tamaguna, rooted as it is the ignorance, rooted as it the ignorance, ignorance, rooted as it were uh, conscious uh, pride, rooted as the ignorance, ignorance, ignorance means ignorance, ignorance means uh, lack of knowledge or information is called the ignorance, lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Abundant lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Abundant pride, which is the same as tamoguna. Lack of knowledge and abundant pride, which is same as tamoguna. Rooted as if with the ignorance. Lack of knowledge and information is called the inform. Lack of knowledge and information is called the ignorance. Rooted as if with the ignorance and the source of considerable pain. Ignorance is the source of considerable pain. Ignorance and is the source of considerable pain. Ignorance as a source of considerable pain. Is a source of considerable pain. Considerable pain. Considerable pain. Ignorance and the source of considerable pain. Considerable. Considerable means uh, considerable pain. Considerable. Considerable means considerable means uh, notably large in size, amount, or extent, uh, having merit or distinction. Consider notably large in size, amount, or extent. Notably large in size, amount, or extent. Considerable. Com uh, country, study, and weight. Cons notably in size, amount, and considerate. Considerable pain, considerable large amount of pain. Pride, pride means more important than other people is called the pride. More important than other people, considerable pain. And adorn Lord Rama, the chief of the more important than other people is called the pride. More important than other people is called the pride. More, more important than other people is called the pride. Abundant pride, which is same as Tamoguna, rooted as it were the ignorance and is the source of considerable pain. Ignorance and the source of the considerable pain, rooted as it is the ignorance and is the source of considerable pain, and adore Lord Sri Rama, the chief of the Raghu, and ocean of the Kampi.